our, our first guest speaker, and if I can have everybody's attention, it's um, one of my good friends, a uh, lifelong friend, uh, graduated with me in college, uh, the good and the bad times, and uh, he is uh, an entrepreneur. Uh, he graduated with a degree in business. He's very, very talented. He's not going to come up here and perform into autographs just yet. But when he does, he's going to send you a message as to why it's important to stay in school, to be active in your school as far as being an athlete, and to have lifelong goals, short and long. Uh, without further ado, Mr. Michael Bernier. Good evening, beautiful people. My name is Michael Bernier. It's my pleasure to be here before you tonight. About a week ago, I got a text message from Sean Thornton here asking me if I'd come out and speak at tonight's event. I was honored, I accepted it, and now here I am. I want to start off by saying this first. I recognize that I am in no way any greater than any man or woman in this room. We are all the same. We're all brothers and sisters, and we all have the same freedom to achieve greatness. I was born at the Lawrence General Hospital. I went to schools here in Lawrence. I then went to college at Bridgewater State University where I received a degree in management science with a concentration in marketing. After college, I found myself working at a publishing company in Ipswich, Massachusetts. And it was that nine to five job that helped me to realize what I really wanted to do with my life. And after two years working there, I parked my car I started to walk down the hill to the front doors of the building and I broke down into tears. I realized that I was going to go inside of this building for the next eight hours, be shielded from the sunshine and the sweet smell of the clean air. So what I did was walk in, walk right to my boss's office, close the door behind me and put in my two week notice. It was that point at that minute that I started the life that I wanted to live and the life that I knew that I would control, and a life that would allow me to be the best person that I can be in every situation that I'm in. So what I did next was I started traveling, spending months at a time in remote locations, faraway lands, sitting in a tent in a rainforest for months at a time in seclusion, in places from the West Indies, to Costa Rica, to Belize, to St. Croix, to Molokai, overseas, to Amsterdam, Switzerland, Germany, Portugal, and on and on. And through these experiences, these observations, and the personal development, I realized, as this new gate opened in my mind, that I could do anything that I wanted to do, and that I could be a success, and that I could kindly do it my way. Enjoy your life. Today, after years of unyielding efforts, focus, determination, shape-shifting as an individual, and realizing that you can enjoy your life while simultaneously being successful, I now find myself living in Newburyport, Massachusetts in a beautiful home. I own a music and event coordination and marketing company. I own a recording studio. I independently produce and host a syndicated radio program that airs on over 35 FM and AM stations around the country. We feature national acts in our studio and we partner with national corporations. I travel the country as a public speaker and as a master of ceremonies. I speak in front of over 100,000 people a year. Tonight I'll leave here, I'll get on an aeroplane and I'll fly to the Florida Keys well, I'll host two large events this week on the beach under the sunshine. I also perform as many as 150 shows a year with my band Freevolt as a solo artist. And the most important thing I'll say is that at some point I realize that it is an option to do what I want to do with my life. It is a reality and now I'm happy. Did everything happen just because I got to work that day and quit my job and said, hey, I'm going to start my own business? No. Everything happened because I worked hard. Worked harder than I had ever worked before. The clock was ticking. 
there was work to be done, if there was opportunities to pursue, I was there and I was determined. People often say to me, oh, you're so lucky, look at the life you're living, traveling, hanging out with celebrities, partying. They assume that I'm not working. This is totally false, I grind. Thousands and thousands of hours go into it to put you in that position where you're on stage in front of thousands of people, where you're hanging out with superstars. It's because you hustle hard and you work and you find that common theme amongst those people. I'll get up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., put in three hours of work before I put in an eight-hour work day, and then after work, I'll load up the van, I'll drive hours to put on a concert. The concert will end, I'll pack the van, I'll drive to some other random town, sleep in a hotel room for two hours, wake up, grab the microphone, and even though I'm exhausted and overtired, I'll take that mic and I'll entertain because I know inside of me that I'm on a mission and that I'm going to succeed. And that is on me. So am I lucky to be here? There is no luck associated. It is hard work and drive. That's what makes things happen. Today, through my words, I want to make one thing clear to everyone here. It's that you can successfully do what you want to do with your life. That is your decision. In order to do so, you must have goals. Many people will roam throughout this life without goals, or without ever fulfilling their goals. And that is because of one reason. It's because of fear. A fear of failure. I'll tell you this though. Never trying, never taking steps towards your, your goals or towards your passion, never taking a step towards your happiness, that needs to be your fear. That is your fear because it will haunt you forever. You have to become an uncommon breed. You have to step outside of the norms. You have to have drive. You have to personify ambition. It is up to you and you alone to decide what you do with your life and how you occupy your time. Enjoy your life. On your path to achieving your goals, there will be resistance. There will be strong opposition. There will be haters, but opportunity will still lie before you. It is up to you, it is on you to get up, to get to the gym, to hit the books, to grind, to hustle, to sleep with one eye open because for some reason inside of you, you know you're gonna make it happen. No man, no woman, or no force of nature is going to stop you. You will make it happen, you will succeed. Do have faith in yourself. Have faith in yourself. Your family, your friends, they'll try to talk you out of something that you're passionate about. Something that you know you can do, but they'll try to talk you out of it because they perceive it as unrealistic. I'm here to tell you this. Do not listen to them. Do not listen. Pursue your dream. Because you know you can make it happen and no one knows what's going on inside of you. You set your goal and you make it happen. There will be naysayers, there will be doubters, there will be antagonists. But you take those people and you turn them into the fuel that will make your spark turn into a flame and into a wildfire. Your success and your achievement in life is not dependent upon what was handed to you. Your success has nothing to do with the cards you are dealt and it has everything to do with what you choose to do about it. You decide how you feel. Forget excuses, take action, create resolve, and most importantly, do not complain. Do not complain. Be a joy to be around. Make every situation better because you can. That is your choice. You will fail, you will endure great pain, you will get beaten down to the ground because nothing will hit you harder than this life. Nothing will hit you harder than life. But the human being has the capacity after failure, after being kicked to the ground time and time again to maintain the willpower to overcome your obstacles and to be triumphant. Enjoy your life. In closing, I will say this to you. 
Being realistic is the most common traveled road to mediocrity. Dream and dream big. Time does not stop for any man. Therein lies the urgency to create the change that you want to see and to do it right now. From this day forward, my friends, I ask you this. Do all that you can to assist in your own personal development. Do everything you can to contribute to your own life. And do everything that you can possibly do every day, every second, every moment to achieve personal greatness. Thank you all so very much for your time. My name is Michael Bernier. Enjoy your life. Thank you, Michael.